Hi guys, welcome back to the Nox Bennett channel. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Alright, so we have 1 to the 4, 7 plus 2 thirds minus 1 and 5, 6. Work out that, guys. What's the answer for that? Two minutes. Let's go, guys. Alright guys, let's work out the fraction. We should have completed it by now. Remember, it's a time-based exam you are doing, 2 hours and 40 minutes. So ensure that you guys are stuck in time, alright? You want to be stuck around the something. So 177 plus 4, 11 over 7. Plus 2 thirds. I'm just going to do one thing because we can convert 1 and 5, 6. 1, 6, 6 and that 11 over... Six. Find our LCM because we're adding and subtracting. See how we do it, right? It's 42, 70, that's 6. So we multiply 11 times 6, which gives us 66. Plus 3 into this goes 14 times. 2 times 14, 28. So a minus 6 into that 7. 11 times 7, 77. So all we're doing now is just adding 8 and 6, 14. We'll carry 1, 6 and 2, 8 and 1, 9. So that's 94 minus 77. All over 43. Remember this is 77. Sometimes that's what we have for that. Did you guys got this? Be honest, guys. <laughs> 7 from 14 leaves 7, and 7 from 8 leaves 1. So that's 42. As our denominator, 17 as our numerator. Alright, let's proceed. Let's proceed. Did you guys get that three marks? Alright, so it says what's the square root of 27? What number multiply by itself? Give you 27. That can only be 3 times 3. So this works out to 3. And then for this one now, 9981. That's how the easy way goes. Um, 9 square mean 9 multiplied by 9, and then we can just cancel 1 into that 27. So it's 1 over 27 may have worked. Hit the like button if you're just joining. Welcome, welcome. If you need to watch it, they will get us to that, alright? Uh, Alright, guys, you try this one. And TikTok persons are saying, oh, you do the easy ones. Do this one then. I type this one in the comment section, guys. Thickness of one sheet of cardboard is given as 48, 485 times 10 to the minus 20 meter. A construction sheet uses 75 sheets of cardboard stuck together to insulate a wall. Show the exact thickness of the insulation is 363. Point seven five millimeter. Show that now guys, let's go. Oh, what's the procedure? What did you guys do? Did you guys get the three sixty three as I said? Point seven five. 
Don't be afraid to try, guys. It's just smart. It's just smart. So let's go. Let's go. What's the answer for that? Let's go, guys. How did you how did you approach that? All right. So what you would do is basically I'm just gonna move work out the value for this. So if we have four eight five times ten to the minus two, means that we're gonna move the decimal place two places to all the right because it's negative. So the actual value for this would be four point eight five, and I'm gonna multiply four point eight five by seventy five. Did you guys do that? Be honest, guys. I'm sure I'll go on to my calculation. Another thing is, guys, I don't normally work out the questions before. I just get the paper and it because you know, we're already. All right, this is correct. The time, I don't have the time like some persons. So three, six. Why am I put point? Three, six. Three, point. All right, let's proceed. Let's go. Let's go. Next part set, right? The thickness of the insulation corrected to two significant figures. How do you guys approach that? Let's go. One minute to do that, guys. So it says significant figures. Thirty more seconds, guys. You should be able to do that. Just a reminder: the number is three six three point seven five, and you are supposed to do it to two significant figures. All right. So it's two significant figures. Just remember the number. Two significant figures. Alright, so two significant figures. So we check this one. Um it's less, so it's gonna be three sixty. Alright, let's proceed. Correct to one decimal, please. So the original number was what? 363. Point seven five. And this is to one decimal, please. So one number must come after the decimal point. So that means that this is five. So we we'll add one. So it will be 363. Three. I'll add one to seven since these are five. For five or greater, we add one. So it's exactly five. So we add one. So that's a six, three six three point eight, and that would be our answer. Nice and easy, ain't it? All right. So they asked us to do it in standard form now. So we have three six three point seven five. So standard form means it should be between zero and ten. So we are right here. So we say one, two. So it will be three point six three seven five times ten to the number of places you move, which is two. And it will be positive because when you multiply, we're supposed to get what the original, and when we do that, is three sixty three. So we'll leave it as it is. And you would have gotten a further one more for that. Right, it's a Marco is on vacation in the Caribbean. He exchanged 4,500 Mexican pesos to Eastern Caribbean dollars. He received 630 
ECD. Complete the same below about the exchange rate. So bear that in mind. The exchange, the change is 450 Mexican pesos to Eastern Caribbean and it only receives 630 Eastern Caribbean. Complete this statement. All right. And they say you must convert one Eastern Caribbean to Mexican dollars. All right. So my correct equation, so 4,500 MXN. Pick up if you hear from Mexico, and that must be that give you 630 ECD. So now they want to find out what is one ECD in Mexico. We can just grab this over one. So this will be four five divided by six thirty. So that means one of these Eastern Caribbean works out to 7.1. Clearly you can see that the Mexican dollar has less value, right? I think no for the Mexican money. To make liquidity for the Eastern Caribbean. So one of the Eastern Caribbean work more than one Mexican, which is seven. So if we should multiply six thirty by this, that should give us the four five. That's all the that's all the rate work. So it's crazy, man. It's crazy. Not Jamaica money, though. Jamaica money has got it. Yeah. So this report approximately to 44982. Just off by a little bit because I think it was around. It. All right. All right, this one's you know, factorize the following expression completely. 12n squared minus for the mn. I did this with my lower school today, and it's only worth one mark. So what it is, guys, go ahead and try first. Sometimes I forget you guys to try now. That's the answer, guys. All right, that's only one more. So what it is, you take out the highest common factor, right? So you find the highest number that can go into four and twelve it is four itself. N is common here, and N is also common. Here. So the for the N, then we can go ahead and divide four into twelve three times. N squared divided by N give us N. Going to four one, and it cancels, so we have n, and that will give us only one mark. All right, only one mark. This one always says 
show that x so that x over x minus x1 minus x minus 4x is equal to this so it's a proof so it's supposed to be the answer so i'm going to show them how them can get them i'm going to work from the left hand side i think i've done this on my channel as a separate as a separate thing yeah so what i'm going to do i'm just going to So I want to get it like this, right? So boom. Or LCM, since you're add and subtract, or LCM will do 1 minus x. This into this leave 1. So we times this. And this is going to give us x. 1 into this is going to leave 1 minus x. Four x, four x times one, that's minus four x, and this now four x times minus x should give us four x squared. So this now is gonna give us minus three. So these are the only like terms right here, right? So we can match it up. It's gonna be minus three x. So we'll simplify it. Minus four x squared. All right. So what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna factor out the x because that's what they did right here. You see? Factor out the x. All right, first to turn it around. Let me do that. So it's minus four x minus three x upon one minus x. Oh, what? The minus x right here. Come on. And then this into this would leave 4x plus 3 over 1 minus x. Well, I guess they divide by negative 1. No, this is not right. This is not right. So I did something wrong. So I went wrong, man. Right, let me just check back. This now. 1x into this, 1, that's going to give us x, that's correct. 1 into this is going to give us, oh, negative 4x. Right here, so should be plus, guys. Oh, many of us here, negative times a negative give us positive 4x, right? So that's, that's the issue. So these are positive. And there we have it. Factor out the positive x. I'm just robot them. I'm just gonna do it clearly so you guys can see. I made a little error. I did not multiply by the negative, right? So here we have it negative times this, negative 4x. Negative times a negative that's positive, and you get x squared, right? So in the end, right here is gonna give us minus 3x plus 4x squared all over 1 minus x and as i said i basically turn it around see here so i can turn it around first so it's 4x squared and we we'll do anything to mess with the green minus 3x i you keep the lcm 1 minus x so what they do now is to factor out the x because x is common to both, right? So we go so boom. X that is gonna leave four x and minus three. 
and this is 1 minus x, and that is our answer. So we prove it. Let's see how much marks we get. Jaja, the Madioka, the Madioka, and solve the equation equals zero. So since since we work out all of this, right? Ah, uh, we're gonna use this and equate it to zero. So we're now we're now going through the process of this, right? We already did that, so that's all we're gonna do. So this is the solution. Um, x bracket where x minus three equals zero. Now we have one minus x. So the solutions would be x equal zero. And also for x when the bracket minus three equal zero. So we solve for x now. I'm going to explain something to you guys why the denominator no matter. So we have four x, this is gonna become positive three, and then we divide by positive four. So two solutions, x is zero and x equal three quarter. Remember guys, if we should multiply this times zero, we are given zero. So this is not a part of the solution. So the two solutions would be x equals zero and x equal three quarter. As I said, I've done this on my channel before as a single question. All right guys, go ahead and make be the subject of the formula. So go ahead and do that. How many to do that, guys? Let's go, let's go. Make B the subject. So you're gonna change the subject to B. If you're just joining, make sure you watch the playback. Number of videos was done. Alright. Big up everybody. That's a one of Mr. Bennett at the video. Big up wherever in the Caribbean you are, wherever in the world you may be. Big up. Appreciate you all for watching this video. Even if you're not a subscriber, you're contributing to my video in a significant way. So big up on yourself for that, guys. Um, let's get to the solution. Everyone should be finished by now. If you are not finished, guys, I am worried about you guys. All right, so let's go. So the first thing you want to do, you want to get B to be the subject, right? So what you do now, you get rid of the square root angle. So you take the opposite of square root, which is square. So you just simply square it, guys. Anything you do to one side, you do to the next side. So now, if we square this, you can just slip for on it. I think about it. So if you, if you have if you have a number square and you find the square, it got equal to the number itself. You know? Let's take five for example, right? You find the square root of this. You know, say this is equal to five, right? Let me prove it. So five square means five times five. Sometimes teachers don't show you guys easy percentage, you know, so it can be clearer. So it will be 25 when you multiply and then you find the square root of that, which is 5. First time I was showing my students this whole sign square. So they think easy. By the way, this is a 5, guys. Alright? This is a 5. Alright, so this is a 5, you know, it go. Alright? So that means that, that would leave this 5 plus dt. 
So now we are get rid of the five. Why? T T is a plus. T so we just put my T here either. Just to differentiate between the plus. This is a plus five, so we're gonna subtract five from both sides. Remember, you are taking the inverse, right? And that equal T. And remember, we are trying to find T. E. So I get rid of it now. So I take that t at times. So we take the opposite of times, which is divide. And there we have it. We make v the subject. So v is equal to p squared minus 5 all over t. And that is our answer, guys. We don't want to make maths the more complex than it is. Just do the simple things right. As I'm principal, say so I want me. All right, so I like this one also. Don't think I've done one like this recently. So, okay, I'm gonna add this one to Try to do it, guys. The function f is defined as f of x is equal to 3x minus 2x. The diagram below show the mapping diagram of the function, determine the value of a. So that's all I want. Okay, that's all. I'm mad. Joke thing. All right, guys, so basically, you know, it's the way pattern answer, right? So you say you use this as your equation, so your x, right? So we know so x will be negative one, but I normally say this to my student. You see if you, you just try it, guys, just try it. So we're gonna use one and see if we get back one, right? So we know say three minus we are use positive one times one. Let's see what that gives us. Two one two. It works out to one. So you see. You get the one here for yourself, so you know you can work. Put zero and you get your three, two zero zero. So I will put negative one in there. So let's go. So it would be three minus two. But remember, we're using negative one, so you have to be careful that you know. So this will be three negative times a negative, that's positive. So three plus two or five. So a is actually five. And there we have it. All right. So you know it might look complex. It's very simple. Let's go. Let's go. Next question. Now we have some time now, guys. Don't you say? All right. It's a determine in their simplest form expressions for a is inverse of the function f. So I will go over top back. Oh no, I remember what f was. All right, so all right, well, f was uh, da, 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 3 minus 2x, yeah. And they want us to find the inverse of this. So let me leave it along with y. Change the function to y, right? So this is the y minus 3 2x. Interchange x, y, and y to x. Why now, everybody, if you know them something. Alright, so we have a solve for y, make y the subject, so we get rid of this tree by subtracting tree from this side, and then that will be a negative 2y. So this negative I multiply, so we divide by negative 3. So here we have it. The inverse of f would be x minus 3 over negative so this will be the inverse of it and we get plus one mark for this i don't understand c6 sometimes you guys are feeling people for all that all right so it says now the composite function of f squared so it does mean f times f So it's, it's not the inverse, but f times f. So let us write that. Um, right, but the last function is f. So that's 3 minus 2x. And then you have to write back f now. But it's going to be with x. So x, these are 3. Right? And we always the x, this are with x. So before, we have 3. I'm not gonna do this now. It's weird. This are x. So that means, uh, oh, 
the three are going to this are x, right? And this are two x. So we can put the two here, so. And then we have three minus one, all right? As remember, anyway, x there, we put that function. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to expand in bracket. One, 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 Don't tell me that. All right, I'm here. I'm here. All right, so we have three. So we have a multiply by minus two. Minus two times three, that's minus six. And negative times negative, positive, which gives us four x. So this now would become 3 minus 6, because these are the only like terms. 3 minus 6 is negative 3. If oh, we can turn it wrong, you guys. But at least we can turn it wrong. Yes, I work to do them again. But we could have turned it to an answer for x minus 3. I could do that. Some students have a single one. That looks so. Just to make it easier for us, all right? All right, them ask you know, let's see what them ask you know. Yeah, I see that. It says state the value of f inverse, f times the inverse of f, and then put negative two. So I will put thing on one, so I'm gonna permit f times the inverse. So we already got the inverse of f, so let us go up up here, see so what was the inverse. It's x minus 3 over negative 2. That's the inverse, all right? So, what was the inverse? Yeah. So the inverse was x minus 3 over 2, right? All right, so these are the inverse of a tangent by f. F was what? F was 3 minus 2f, right? So x number is a multiply. The 2 are multiplied by x. So this now would be minus 2x. Alright, so the inverse, which is this, and then f, which is minus 3 minus 2 x. So let's wrap it up now. So we have 2x times this, which gives us negative 2x squared. And negative 2x times this is going to give us positive 6x. Negative times negative, that's positive. I remember. What was it? Negative 2? Or two because of the inverse, right? So now they want us to plug in negative. Now we could simplify this first. So we can simplify that. So we could do it this way minus 2x squared plus 6x minus 3 all over 2. And they ask us now to plug in negative 2. So I could do that. And we will see x with us for negative 2. I think I'm going to use the other than it actually. It's very easy, guys. I will give the pencil some space. If that's worth only one mark, why may I do so much stuff? I will mean, have to do I just put in negative 2 in you know, the function, you know, you know, the inverse of it, and then times it by it. It makes things look hard, man. Shut up. I just want more. Alright, so anyway, let's continue this. So that's a 4 minus 12 minus 3 all over 2. So this is going to be 4 minus 15. Which 
works out to negative nine over two. It works out to four and a half. You know why they want to give them out the guys? Because they already give it up at top. So it's a negative four and a half. Well, guess what? They already asked if you do this. That is why you never need to about this again, right? I just plug it into. So, my bad, guys. My bad for that. Alright, guys. So, whenever they know what that type here, so I'm going to put my zone here. Um, a group of students wrote a physics examination. Each of the students achieved a grade 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The pie chart showed the results, alright? And then say, so I've got let me say 39 students achieved grade 3, which is this, and the degrees that represent is 117. So they say determine the total number of students who wrote the exam. So, guys, go ahead and try that one. How many students at the examination? Record that and let me know. What did you guys do? All right, let's go. So this represents 117. So 117 out of the 360. What did you guys got? 117 out of the 360 times the total. We don't know what the total is, so we're going to use Y. All right. And that gives you 39. So all we have to do is now transpose now. So make Y the subject. Get rid of this. It's a divide, so we times so it's going to be 339 rather times 360. And this a divide, this a time, so we divide. So, um, so now we're going to have 39 times 360. I'm just going to check on the calculator. We're time to waste, man. So we uh, in the video shortly, guys. I don't know, class, I come up. I say it's going to be 39 times 360, which works out to 14,040. So I'm going to do that. 14,000. The top is not 14,040. And then we're going to divide by 117. All right, so that's now divide by 117, which is 120. So in all, there was a total of 120 students. This up the examination. All right, so 120. What else? Two marks for that. I'm not marks that. Yeah. All right, so it says now the ratio of the number of students what we grade one, two, or four is two to three to four. A student pass a, a student pass examination if he or she achieve a grade one, two, or three. How many students pass the examination? So this is what they say now. The ratio for grade one, so grade one or two. Grade two, so grade one, that are two, so let me write that. Grade one, I'll just write it in my way. Uh, grade two, that are four, and grade four, 
that that true? Alright. How many students pass the examination? So in order to pass, you have to get a total of grade one, two, or three. Alright, just like we know. Alright, so we already know. Say da, da, da. we have 120 students total, right? So boom. So we need a tree. And I focus on O pass. So grade one, two, and three pass. And whatever the ratio between this a one to two or two to four. So let me just go back up and see. So uh, let me set the question so you can see it. For grade two, it's a four and for this a three. I'm feeling now over the calculation. So we need to know all of our parts. One, two, three. This double this. And they gave us this. Oh, they did give us the ratio for grade two. Hold on. And also we'll grade four. Or three for grade first for grade four the ratio of three. So out of the old of those twenty nine percent or under guys. I'm thinking about over things. My medical different approach. What about um, the degrees will be 360, right? And then we, we know so one and one seventy. So the remainder should be two four three. Because that's what this represents, right? This represents the two four three. So now look from it from the angle of this. Alright, so the total ratio will left with have a two plus four plus six and that nine. So Eleven nine. So two plus four plus nine equal two forty three. Because basically some the other one gone out time. We don't know the ratio of this power or so this degree is gone out time. So let me just work out that. It's supposed to be six. Three rather, not nine. I rule it in and I rule it up here. So this represents the total, which is the 9. So that means that you want to get 2, that be 2 over 9 times 2 forty three, And then 3 over 9 times 2 forty three, and so on. So that gives the value for each one of them. And 3 over 4. So we, yeah, we can figure it out from here. So, so two over nine is point of an calculator. Fifty-four. All right. So this works out to fifty-four. That means say uh, this is a double. So it's a one over eight. Because this double the one, right? It's a four. Right, so, four of the one, I know. It's two over nine with a one third. So, two for the three divided by three. Eighty one. So, this work out to eighty one. Let me put back things in perspective. Because, I know this more. I want to find out how many parts. So, let me just put them in. The first one, we get one seventy. 
them for our students. So we just need for one and two. So for one and two was two and four. So we only need this, the two and the four. So it's 108. So it's about 54 plus the 108. Plus the number of person with it pass, which is 117. Yes, yeah, so we should be able to get it from there. So, what is there already? Of course, you know, guys, of class, and the students are coming in. All right, so this add up to one. Uh, I'll point out my calculator and see this add up to one. But this can help us to get so which this 715 plus that 19 1 2 5 7 so that's 279 right so this is a total degree so all we have to do is just put this over 360 and we know say total was what 120 students so this now will give us the total pass so this was a nice challenging one so this work out to 93 according to the calculator not persons not degrees 93 students so it's a total of 93 students pass Awesome, awesome. So this will be our answer. And it's for grade one now. Grade one, we want us to determine the angle. Well, we already work it out and get 54. That's what. So I think that is a kind of a cliche. Let's go. So it's a prepared one. This we already work out this and we got 54. And it was based on the ratio that we got this. So this is kind of a cliche. Let's see if we can do at least one more. And that was worth nine pounds. All right, this one now says in the Question take pi to be 22 over 7. The diagram below shows a rectangular tank with is 50 centimeter by 40 that is used to store water. The tank is filled with water to depth of 50. Calculate the volume of the water. So, volume to the area of the base times the height. So, it only go up by, it only go up by something. Say so it will be 40 times. Times 15. So, guys, we're going to end with our one, you know, but I'm um, definitely going to come back so you guys look out for that, alright? So, it's 40 times 15 times 15. 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 zeros. So, it's 3 and 4 zeros. 1, 2, 3. So that's 30,000 cm3. Very importantly, let's remember um, the unit would be cm3. That's the volume, right? So, guys, I'm going to stop here. But thank you everybody for watching. This was a. I like it. I like these questions. As I say, I'm searching for different, different types. So I can cover every possible type of question C can ask. Thanks for watching guys, then I'd be in to appreciate you all. I'm out and out. So I'll see you guys soon. Big up everybody. Thanks for the support. Well no tingle. So I'm going to appreciate you all. Channel I'll go growing guys, I'll go grow money